Equivalent Fractions, 4th grade, Instructor Mary Dixon. Does the beginning of this word clue you in to its meaning? Sounds like equal, equivalent, and that is exactly what it means. One half equals two fourths. One whole, in this case, one whole circle. Two halves equal one whole circle. Divide the circle down the middle, top to bottom, and create two halves. One half, the fraction one half, one half circle. Four fourths, divide the circle again, side to side, left to right, horizontally. Now there are four parts to the whole. Each part is one fourth. One fourth, the fraction one fourth. Divide each of the fourths into two parts and we have eight parts or eight eighths. One eighth, the fraction one eighth. Let's mix together different parts, different fractions. You can see one half covers the same space or area as two of the fourths. So one half equals two fourths. Here we see two fourths on one side of the circle and four eighths on the other side. 2 fourths equal 4 eighths. We can also compare 1 half to 4 eighths. Do 1 half and 4 eighths cover equal space or area? Yes, 1, eight, one half equals 4 eighths. Equivalent fractions. 1 half equals 2 fourths. 2 fourths equal 4 eighths, 1 half equals 4 eighths, or 1 half equals 2 fourths equals 4 eighths. They are equivalent fractions.